Good evening. We've seen voters in Santa Fe come out in droves to shoot down a controversial soda tax. Now, with state lawmakers looking at a so-called sugary drink tax on a statewide level. Here's News 13's Jeannie Nguyen. Jessica, the state senator behind the idea says New Mexico has an obesity and budget problem. He thinks a soda tax would help with both. If we could reduce the consumption of soft drinks by increasing a tax that they don't pay anything at all on now, I think it would balance the ledger a little bit. Fixing the state's deficit while promoting a healthier lifestyle. Democrat State Senator Jerry Ortiz Epino of Albuquerque believes a tax on soda could greatly benefit New Mexicans. That's why he's proposing this Senate joint memorial. It's not a piece of legislation that would tax soda, but rather... A study of the benefits and the costs of taxing soft drink, sugared soft drink beverages. Although some New Mexicans have already made their opinions on the issue known, earlier this year, voters in Santa Fe rejected the controversial soda tax during a fiercely fought special election. But Senator Ortiz Epino says what he's looking toward is different than what the capital city was proposing. All we're proposing is the regular sales tax. Santa Fe was proposing an extra tax on soft drinks. Ortiz Epino says soda is considered a food item, so it isn't taxed. He believes since it's not actually food, though, it should be subjected to a sales tax like all other non-food items. To no surprise, people we spoke with had mixed feelings on the idea of paying more for their sugary drinks. You know, use for uh, worthwhile projects, a few cents is not going to really hurt all that much. I disagree on that because I love soda and, you know, some people barely have enough, you know, to get have money to be taxed so much on soda. I don't agree with it. No, I don't. I don't I don't really I don't agree with the tax on the soda. Senator Ortiz e. Pino says if this study shows a financial benefit from taxing soda, he will draft up legislation for his fellow lawmakers and the governor to consider in 2019. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Jeannie. Governor Martinez has voiced strong opposition to raising taxes throughout her time in office. She'll be out of office before the 2019 legislative session.